Did we, did we turn it down? I think we did. All right, here's the situation, people. Let's get right into it. To start off with, this is, this is a very shit way to do a repair. And if we did not need this computer Thursday morning to, for this gentleman, that he has uh, some very important stuff going on Thursday morning. If he didn't need the computer to perform, we would not be doing this. We'd take our time. But I figured this could be helpful to anybody else that may be in a similar situation. So we'll make a video on it. So let's get started. Okay. All right. What we're looking at is we have, if I don't smash the microphone again with my, uh, this laptop. So we have a completely broken hinge. I mean, the hinge pulled out of the top lid and it pulled away from... It, it broke this support plate for the flexing of the screen so you don't crack your screen and just to make it a little more rigid. It actually broke there. And this was just sitting on the seat of a car. Somebody stopped abruptly. The driver had to apply their brakes and this went flying off of the seat and broke this side. This other side's still holding on, but we need to get it disconnected. Uh, to do this, we're going to have to... Yeah, there's not a lot of support here. So what we're going to do, if we can flex this slightly. All right, we have the computer at about 90 degrees. The first things first, we need to open this thing up. So we're going to hang it off of our bench. And let's work on getting the bottom off of this. I believe this model has uh, pull tabs on one side. Or it's not glued in. Okay. So in the corners, this is an HP 17 BS. HP 17 BS 011 DX laptop. It's 17 inch HP. Uh, this customer spent a little money on upgrading it. It has, I think, an M.2 drive in. I can't remember the job specifically. He does a lot in the way of a few different things. So it's a completely business-oriented machine. Not a personal machine. This is for business purposes, and they need it back early, early Thursday morning. We're going to see what we can do to get it patched up so it works like a laptop until a new hinge kit and top lid shows up. What repair do you want to do when you do a repair on a computer? You can do something that's going to last. You can do something that's going to last, but, you know, it, it's going to look a lot worse when that computer goes in front of somebody else. As you can tell, let's take a look there. You might see that there's some stuff. This was the door for this particular laptop got lost. So we actually made one to the profile laptop out of another at one point, And we had to do a lot of Dremel work and cutting to get this to match up. And right there, it just got too thin. But taking it through that area made it so it fits the profile laptop and doesn't rub. And it will open and close as much as you need it to when it's sitting flat on a, on a tabletop. So we're going to try and pop this thing apart now that we have our screws out. Does this have a, a keyboard that removes? No, the keyboard is built into it. Okay, so the bottom is going to separate from the top. Alright, so basically, not fun. I'm leaning my weight against the lid, the counter here, to prep, to keep it from falling, if I'm not holding it in place, to keep it from falling. M.2 Wi-Fi cable that we're going to pull out. That one goes out that side, and then we need our display cable, and any other cables that might run out this side. There's our display. It's going to go out. We need to pull, what is this, our DC jack as well, to get it out of the way. We need to unmount this hinge. This is just a click-in trim plate. Oh, okay, it goes under the fan. 
All right, one hinge is finally loose. Now we're gonna go for this side. We have a Wi-Fi wire loose already. Some computers are just not well built, and it's it's not that they didn't try to build them well. They do. It's that they're so thin, and there's really no option for some designs. We have one more screw here to take out, and we will have this part of the hinge loose. Oh no. Okay, so it did have a second one, and it actually broke it loose. Did it break it loose? It did. It completely broke the whole grommet loose, so we're going to try and reattach that one under our heat sink here. And this was just one abrupt breaking, and the laptop slid off of the seat of the car. So you can imagine, went off of a seat onto a floor which is somewhat padded. Just think if you were to drop this thing and it bounced down some stairs, or you get mad and slam it. it some, some of these computers do not hold up to the stresses of what they get put through. Alright, thermal paste looks like it was doing good. We're going to clean it off and put some more on. Broken mount right there. Other than the top lid, so this part here, the top lid. new hinge we're just going to go ahead and replace this one in case it got any flexing since the hinge was broke on this area we're replacing it new top lid new hinge set uh, we could get a new top case or the keyboard side but we only have one broken mount the other ones don't look like they have any stress or breakage to them i'm going to go ahead and try and reattach the one in this corner here that broke loose it holds the one part of the hinge as you can see it has two parts that ties it down other than the main screws, you have two screws per hinge that tie down to the body, and then you have one that comes through the entire bottom case of the laptop into the upper body, and then you have these two flat ones for a little extra support. And that's on both sides. I thought there was only one, but this was hidden under our fin stack. So, and this is where the real work begins. We're going to try and patch this thing up. Yeah, new top lid is in order. It's one, two three places where this hinge is going to mount in and it pretty much broke every bit of plastic out so here's what we're going to do with this we'll work on this one i guess we'll take and glue it in quick while we're here just to see if it's going to hold or are we going to be in for more than we bargained for Right, we have our glue in place. We need this now. Try and find which way this broke out of there. We want that to be as stable as possible. Like I said, it's not permanent, but we just want this thing to open and close some for Thursday morning. So we're going to try and clamp that one in place. Take a look at it to make sure that it is it's sitting fairly level. I don't know if this is something I can show and a lot of pieces of broken plastic falling off of this computer but as you can see when you look down it you can see that that clamp is setting somewhat level with the motherboard okay so we're going to set this off to the side let that clamp and super glue do what it does it's holding it tight and on to the bigger concern this is going to be the real nuisance so we have some cleanup work to do on this corner I have it inverted or yeah, upside down right now. Best results, if you have something left of your top lid to glue to, that's usually your best bet. However, this sheared these out of there just completely entirely gone. We have to unbolt our hinge cover. It's connected right there. Now, we're not going to have any support. We're not going to be able to fix this metal part going up the edge here. I don't see you doing anything with that. There's no repair you're going to do short of possibly welding and you're wasting your time at that point. What we're going to do is pull these wires up out of the way in an attempt to get this partially back in there. Nothing wants to line up. I'm trying to find where the bend is in this hinge because we're hitting our spot here, here, and this one wants to line up, but you can see when we do that, we have a massive gap here. So I don't know if this just shifted downward. Okay, so our metal tab that holds our screen in was bent down. That was keeping our hinge from sitting in the proper spot. Let's try it now. I don't think if we glue this one in that spot, it's really going to hold or do any justice, but we will. We'll give it a shot. 
Okay, we got our screw out, and there's the silver sticker that ripped. This was just basically a guard for your Wi-Fi and display cable. All the other plastic, the other two plastic mounts are completely and utterly obliterated. So we're gonna take a moment and clean those out. We're basically going to use a wide exacto blade. What we don't want to do is cut our screen. So we have to avoid cutting towards our screen at all costs, or we go ahead and remove the screen. I think we can clean this out enough to where just with a little bit of pushing and using our exacto blade to where we can do this this jerry-rigged repair. And like I said, this isn't something you should on your own stuff, okay. Or for somebody and say, hey, this isn't gonna last. This isn't the type of repairs that we like doing. But like I said, in this case, it's an emergency. The customer is okay with it. He knows exactly what's going on. We discussed it ahead of time. He said, that's fine, whatever works. I need this thing Thursday morning. You can actually see what we're working on. It's all coming back apart to put the correct parts on. Emergency repair, having it done for Thursday morning is going to be, that's what's important now. But we need to tear it back apart. In doing so, if you're going to use epoxy on something, plan ahead so you don't glue your display cable in because if that goes bad, you don't want to have to, you don't want to glue stuff in place or get it to where you can't tear something back apart that you're just trying to fix. Something else we can do, there's a name for this and I don't know what it is, but it's when you take in cut gouges in two surfaces that you're going to try and mate together or cut them in one so it gives the uh, epoxy glue more surface area to stick to okay we got that let's create our okay that will keep any large amounts of epoxy from gluing to the edge of our screen if a little runs under the back we're going to have faith that we can still get it off of there all right, no crazy big amounts gonna glue to it. So, I feel all right with that. It may hit the corner. We'll cut that bit loose if that's the case in the future. I don't think it will be. What I've done off of camera is prepare some of these. I took an old uh, top case from a laptop that we did not need and cut some of the very things that shattered and broke out. I cut them out of it and flattened them out. I did get three. I didn't know if we need three or more. So, we're going to put these in place roughly where they go, and that will let our lid attach and get to using some quick set epoxy. We're going to test it. They should be about the same height, the ones that broke out of there, but we don't 100% know for sure. They will be close. Very stupid, but here we go. We're mixing right here in our new... new case and we need to find our screws so we've got one there before we start mixing and start losing time on the the quick set time we need to find a few more screws such as these we have one like that I've tried before in the past super gluing some of these little things that I cut out of other laptop lids out if the camera finds like where we're actually at here i've tried super gluing these in and it never seemed to work too successfully so we're going to use some epoxy and build it up around it as quick set right now we're going to put these on little tiny pieces of plastic and that one on looking good we need the top hole here another thing to keep in mind is the bezel for your laptop when it goes on there you're going to have it snapped on i know wire is not supposed to be sticking out but you have to figure where, where is this gonna set at? One thing we're gonna do now is we know roughly where it wants to snap in. We'll lock the top in and let it transfer its length down the side. We're gonna take and make a rough pencil mark. And that's where we don't want any epoxy going past or even close to it. All right, we're mixing. I hate quick set stuff. Unfortunately, it works in some instances. This is one You don't have to babysit it forever uh, Sets in five minutes cures in an hour. Let's see what type of damage we can do We need to leave room for that wire to get through there Okay, while this stuff is still workable, we're gonna put a little around 
same with this one here we're going to drop some down in there and like i said we want to try and keep as much of this away from our screen as possible we can do some more extensive work with it after if we can get those two to set up and we can pull these two screws without breaking them loose and get the whole hinge out of the way then we'll build up we'll remix some more epoxy and build up around the edges of those i really don't think it's going to take too much we're going to set this out of the way nice level spot and we are literally going to use up the rest of this epoxy quick this has nothing to do with the repair you just saw but I got a broken dust pan and I put a piece on to brace it and it's going to let me clean out the rest of this epoxy that I had just mixed up had a fairly good crack in it like I said instead of going buying bigger better faster more new whatever I always try to use and fix that was the source of our crack so we're going to try and build some of that up there it should be setting up the video is definitely not sponsored by JB Weld, but I use a lot of their products, whether it be epoxy or actual JB Weld. Uh, the clear weld, quick setting, like I said, five minute set, one hour cure. It's fairly nice stuff. We have a little bit here we scraped out, we might try and use now. Let's find out what kind of damage we've done with epoxy so far. Okay, so it is trying to run down where our bezel was going to go. So we got to push it up and out of the way. We do not want that. How great would that be if we could pop that busted piece of hinge right out of there right now? It's not happening. Let's go ahead and pull our clamp off of here. Let's see if the screw wants to come out. That's always a big thing when you go clamping plastic with glue is it going to let the screw pull out or no without breaking loose i don't think i think we're breaking it loose to get this screw there's not the brass thing the plastic around the brass broke so we're gonna we're gonna put a new one in there as well oh, what a nightmare one little jump off of a car seat i'm not super worried about that screw we can clean it off as the epoxy hardens as you can see it's starting to actually set there's that five minute set time what we did do is bury that and that screw hole down in this epoxy here that is hardening so all right we're gonna let everything set up come back check it later we may have to do some trimming here to get the epoxy down off of the top so that when the hinge comes over that mount sits on it like this but they do both stick up about the same amount that and that one this is going to be more of a permanent fixture i will let this customer know that hey um your top case does have one broken support on it so it's going to be a weak area this this hinge possibility you need to replace it in the future or we can go ahead and order it now uh, i don't think it's necessary now but maybe something that wants to be looked at all right to be continued
There he is, announcement boy. Are you ready for this announcement? I said it in one or two videos. Finally, here it is. So, as I've said maybe once in this video and probably said in some other videos, I want to get my channel up above 100 subscribers by the end of the month of April. Let's shoot for four or 500 soon after that, but at least up well up above 100, well above 100 by the end of the month of April. We can do this. We can share this and get it out there. Why? Why should you subscribe? Why should you be commenting on every video? Get up in there, leave the comments, let me know who you are. Make sure you are subscribed. Have the notification bell for whenever videos come out because you never know when I'm going to announce something. Not in the title, not in the description, but we're going to put it in there. Here we have a PlayStation 4 Slim with a 500 gigabyte SSD upgrade in it instead of the mechanical spinny drive. It's an SSD. It will come with the power cable, the HDMI cord, and the Sony branded controller that comes with these. And any games that came in this when it was bought new, this is my personal console. It has about three, maybe three and a half hours of on time. I streamed a game for about 39, 41, 42 minutes, something like that from my house. With this, it was uh, Kingdom Hearts. You can find it in a video on my channel. Other than that, it hasn't been played. It's basically brand new. I put new thermal paste on it. The SSD, we're going to put it wrapped up back in the box, basically like new. Who wants it? I'm going to pick a random commenter from random videos to start giving stuff like this away. If you're not subscribed, sorry about your luck. If you are subscribed and you have the bell rang, you'll know when videos come out. Is it a possibility that I'm going to announce something in a videos back to back you never know what comes after four can anybody count and there you go anyhow i want to start doing stuff like this at random for subscribers and people helping share this to get it out there spread the channel and coming back for more of the repair content you know this isn't brand new but it's basically brand new we took an upgrade a little we made it a little more awesome it's still a very viable machine for somebody out there. Who are you? Who wants it? Make sure you're commenting on all the videos. I love the interaction. We're going to grow this channel up into something. So, who are you? Who wants it? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you, as always, for watching the videos, clicking the links, coming over, hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed the time lapse of this being built up. The parts are arriving soon, so we're going to shoot the video of how to fix it the right way instead of this whole video of how to fix it the wrong way. The gentleman needs this for in the morning, so that's why we did this hack like this. Anyhow, have a good one, and we will see you very, very soon. Hey, there it is. If you enjoyed this content, think about, you know, subscribing, giving it a thumbs up. You like it. Leave a comment. I like replying to the comments people leave, so. Uh, the engagement is part of what makes this fun. This was kind of a long one. It will be edited down to be shorter, obviously, but there you have it. The entire wrong way of how to fix a laptop hinge, but we went for functional band-aid for a day or two just to stop the bleeding, and then we'll actually, we'll actually stitch this, this guy up. We'll get him back on the operating table and stitch him up properly. Anyhow, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, as always, for coming over, hanging out, doing what you do out there. I'm trying to get up there and subscribers, so please think about subscribing, like I said. Have a good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are. We'll see you. We'll do something fun next time.